Hello my soccer universe, yes, jersey review season has begun for me and we're gonna start in the Austrian Bundesliga since it's the first league that has started and where I have already the best feeling of how the jerseys not only look on the uh, pictures but also in game. How I'm gonna do this review, we're starting in Austria, we have 12 teams, I decided this time around not to make it in 4 videos but in 3 videos uh, with 4 teams each. And uh, we're gonna do it as usual. I take the pictures from footy headlines or from wherever I can match, sc uh, match screenshots and whatever. Um, then I take the 12 teams. I'll take last season's final standings, go one, two, three, three, two, one, and so on, as you see on the screen. And then all the teams with their respective numbers land in their respective video. And in part two, we are really going down in the nitty gritty of the Austrian league because not only do we have three of the most well supported teams, but we also get uh, teams that ha enjoy a unhealthy dose of over sponsoring. Meaning we have in this video Sturm Graz, Rapid Vienna, My Team Lusk, and this is the only video where I'm wearing a club jersey for now, because I honestly, I don't have uh, enough Austrian club jerseys, and I think this is a point that I should change. Uh, and you know, also it's a little bit icky for me to wear the other teams, but that's aside. And we have, of course, Hartberg in there, which is the team that will start in because I decided to go um, in alphabetical order. And you see here the wonderful Hartberg home jersey. And like last season, they have an interesting uh, blue jersey with a pattern. However, you don't see it at all. And on this picture, the league logo is missing, which go, would go straight below the Adidas logo. It is just sponsor overload of the highest degree. And I think they even managed to add one. I think last season we didn't have the boxing stop on the very bottom. It actually stopped at the Profitil Sperm Booster, which is already uh, one of the most hilarious sponsors out there. Uh, and yes, the stadium is called the Profitil Arena. Yes, it is that crazy. Um, if we would take away all the sponsors, I think there's a really nice shirt in there. I like that pattern. I think the uh, goalkeeper jerseys have that. Uh, it's completely taken over by the sponsors and there's only one grade that I can give this. Maybe there are two grades that I can give. I'm not thinking. No, no, straight. Let's go down. It's a one star jersey because you just cannot overload on sponsors there. And this is the only Adidas team. Uh, note as well. Uh, the away jersey does the same thing in magenta. It's actually interesting. An uh, interesting uniform worn with uh, white, I gotta say. Um, I will talk about pink in a while. Uh, they are now the second team that kind of, em I don't want to say embraces the color, but you know. I honestly only think the choice of color and the overall un uniform, it actually makes it a little bit better looking than the blue jersey, in my opinion. Uh, I might be completely off here. Just not to enough to raise it more than to two. So I'm sorry, Hartberg, I, it's just not working. Moving on to my favorite team, Lusk. And it's also not working. It, it doesn't get better. Uh, the announcement video, uh, they made a video for this jersey that, yeah, we are back in black and white stripes, which we would all like to see black and white stripes. But what about the swim wings in yellow? I thought we are past this. You know, there was from, I think, 16, 17 on uh, until 2019, they had exactly those sleeves. And everyone hated them. Then for a season, they had pink sleeves. And then for two seasons, we didn't have any uh, uh, different colored sleeves. What is this? I... I really love the black and white stripes. And yes, I hate that they're not going back. And I also don't like, and you don't see this in the picture, but you know, there's a seam on top and then they have the pink sponsor logos, which also don't look all that right. But overall, this would be a really nice jersey if you just give me white sleeves. Even with black sleeves, although I think white sleeves would look better with the logo, we are fine. How about this Austrian bank? That's exactly their logo is pushing the yellow. I hate this jersey with a vengeance. I think it is not as bad as Hardback because it's not overloaded with sponsors, although on the side you can make out something. And uh, I, the black and white stripes are nice. However, 
it's again, it's for the black and white stripes. I'm gonna give this. Uh, am I gonna gonna give this three or two? No, I can't look past all the yellow sleeves. It's a two-star jersey. I'm sorry, and this is my favorite favorite team. I have to say that the away jersey. I actually grew to like now a whole lot and here they do it and right. I mean, it's black. It's uh, Gray with black stripes or black with gray stripes. I think it's gray with black stripes, honestly uh, But there's something about it. It looks actually really cool in play and I don't like gray But the, uh, the dark gray actually makes it really look good um, And you know the few logos that are on there are sticking out um, This is a pretty darn fine jersey. It's not perfect. It's not perfect, I but I think I really like uh, this. I actually always like when Lask is going black in a way. Uh, it's a look that is way better than white, in my opinion, for them. Um, so yeah, this is already kind of on my check mark. Maybe this is a jersey that I would really, really love to have. I'm gonna give this a seven star. Uh, and I wanna show also they were wearing this in the game against Rapid at home in a very special configuration without any sponsors and only Danke Heli, which means thank you Heli, which is in reference to Helmut Oberndorfer, a longtime supporter especially financial of uh, Lask and uh, current vice president who passed unfortunately away and in his honor he was generally seen as the biggest Lask fan around in his honor the club actually went sponsorless for an entire game an important game and it looked absolutely awesome that is a nine star to me in that configuration but uh, I'm not I'm, I'm not gonna uh, make make his own official rating so we have done the black and the white stuff. Whenever there's Lusk, there also is a third jersey necessary because against certain opponents like Sturm Graz, this doesn't work. And of course, and this is a big contention, they go with the supplier BWT, it's self-made. BWT is a water company that is now uh, pumping huge sums into the club. Uh, and therefore, uh, the, you know you know them from, 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 from Formula 1. They like to put their colors all over the more they play they want to make more colors and so they always issue this one pink jersey which is one of their colors and the fans are going wild when they issued it for the first time in europe this pink jersey i was actually all right with it i said okay it's fine this will be my pink jersey even here and there it is all right however this one is taking a step too far this is the black version in light pink and dark pink it just does not work for me and I have nothing against pink it is just that the sponsor goes all over and that we, it's now a tired point for two seasons do it but the fans don't like it and you're putting fuel on the flame with jerseys like these and then it, 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 it's just too much pink in your in in your face and it is so stupid because, you know, even if this was pink and white, it, it would be nice. I thought last season, and I didn't show this in, in, in the review, they had uh, all pink jerseys with a little bit white. It looked not good. This one does not look good, honestly, because it's just too much in your face. At least use it with some black or use it with some white or go the better route. Make a red and black jersey or a red and white jersey. And I think you would have no problems. Occasionally putting pink in there, all right, but not all all the time. Uh, is this one better than the home jersey? I'm afraid I have to say it's better than the home home jersey. I'm still gonna give this only three stars because um, the doubling down on an unpopular jersey and the choice of two shades of pink in one jersey is just too much to take for me. And that's why I'm going uh, this with the three star rating let's go to the most traditional club and as i'm shooting is a club very a club very much in crisis which is rapid vienna and i find their home offering by puma a very interesting one because there's another club that i supported is supplied by puma which is milan which have a very weird striped jersey even dortmund is weird it can work just fine I actually have to say this is an, this is really good looking. My only bone of contention is uh, it's worn with white shorts and then the green sleeves don't work. If this was worn with green shorts, although Rapid should wear, wear white shorts in my opinion at home. Uh, so the sleeves are a little bit off to me and maybe uh, 
and, and this is the modern stuff it, uh, it, it has no collar it's just you know cut off in a way so that's a little bit weird and also on the back it, it it's not perfect but i have to say it's a classic repeat jersey if they would have now the sleeves in the same um shade i think i would like this better or if you go all green and then wear green pants i think this would look better now the wien energy sponsor i'm i'm not sure given that they're in trouble how long they will be with repeat at this moment uh adds a little bit spark uh, on there in orange, but we are used to that already in a way But I have to say I gotta give it to Rapid and Puma That they produced a nice jersey that will please every fan But that is what Rapid are known to do in any way Maybe the Puma cat could lose its outline and look a little bit nicer But I gotta say I really like this jersey uh, Overall, I think this is good enough for me uh, for a seven star um, the away jersey is a color uh, uh, is a calm configuration that we have not seen for a bit i mean yes red and blue which are the secondary colors their, their logo have been used in a vertical way never in a horizontal way so it's basically kind of pairing uh the traditional away jersey with a very uh, beloved jersey which was a 95 96 one which was the green and white uh hoops uh in a way uh all i have to say it's also a really nice looking one much better than what Walter had last last season. I mean, last season the home home jersey was uh, discussion worthy, but the away jersey, I'm not sure. This one, I actually have to have to say, it looks rather nice. Uh, it's much dislike I have for that particular club. They have they have, they they have gotten kind of nice jerseys. I actually would elevate this even above the home jersey and give it a straight eight stars. And again, uh, there are not too many sponsors marring this in league play. Which leaves us now, after the biggest team in Aust Aust Austria, we're probably going to the second best supported, uh, at least still, in Sturm Graz. And remember last season they had, uh, like Laska is now a secondary jersey, they had a grey and black one, which I didn't under understand. Now they have a perfect jersey. And if this was a last home jersey, I would love it. And what, what I love even more, that in their perfect configuration, I mean, I always thought that Sturm should wear black and white with white pants, whereas Lask is black and white with black pants. They're wearing this with black pants, and I have to say, it looks awesome. Yes, it was the perfect Lask kit, and uh, I showed you the pink Lask jersey. This was from a Sturm again, a, play, a game against Sturm Graz, and you see it uh, here. Looks awesome, honestly. Uh, that there are a little bit more sponsors on there than on the nice version is something that we have to take into con consideration. Also, the back is all white, which, yeah. you know, I, I, it's a pet peeve of mine that all these big blank backs, I really don't like. Just leave a little space for the name set. Don't make it the entire back. It destroys many, many looks. However, this is well one of the best looking jerseys in the Austrian league at the moment and I have no problems giving these nice stars. This is like what a black and white jersey for me should look like. Uh, the away jersey, yeah, is a little bit tame and a little bit uh, average. It's just black and white, which is actually not bad because uh, the home, home, home jersey is a little bit overbearing with the blue sponsor in the, in the sense that's why I took it a little bit down. But on the other side, it's a very boring overall jersey that, you know, will see occasional use, but I don't see it used very often. I can imagine maybe Austria Vienna away or something like that. Um, for that reason, I would go, yeah, I, I would go five stars here. And then the third jersey, which I think is will be more used, is the blue one. Which, yeah, I mean, it fits with the sponsor nicely. And again, uh, many, many, and uh, the third, there are many more sponsors, especially the big with the pumpkin seed oil on the side and then a few between. And you see also the league logo pulled put up here. So, you know, it doesn't look as clean uh, in reality as it looks here. I also think it's a rather average. This is really take your um, template jersey and slap a crest and a sponsor on, and, and sponsors on, on there. Uh, in a way, it's even worse than the uh, away jersey. For that reason, uh, it cannot go higher than four stars here. So yeah, we're through with probably the most interesting uh, of the, all the videos. I mean, if you would have asked me if the uh, three videos, which one should you watch? This is the one because this gives you the entire, 
entirety of everything that's going on in the Austrian League on the jersey level. The corporate greed, the nice classic designs, uh, overbearing sponsors, big teams, everything is in there. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this one. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel and see more videos like this and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day.